Hello everybody, and welcome to this week's game review, which is Fez for the Xbox Live Arcade. I will admit, I did put off reviewing this game for uh, for about a week, and I'll explain why once I've done a bit of backstory on Fez. So, Fez is about four years old, or it was in development four years ago, and the company that made it said it would be ready for 2010. Nevertheless, there was a bit of uh, back backlog, and they didn't get it finished till 2012. And apparently, since last year, 2011, a whole lot of people have been hyping over this and waiting for it to come out. And I myself, after seeing what all the hype was about, did did get hyped for three weeks before it was released. Unfortunately, as I said before, this is Xbox Live Arcade exclusive. It is not on Steam at the moment, but yeah, so that's a, that's a downer. And this footage has actually been provided to me by another YouTuber, which I will thank at the end of this video. And I will link you to his channel and his version of what he thinks of Fez as well, because he did a review on Fez and is also planning to let's play it as well. So I'll do that at the end. So let's actually get into what I think of Fez. Obviously, as I said before, I've had to watch a Let's Play from Northern Lion, who is currently playing through the game. So I've had to watch a Let's Play of Northern Lion playing through it. My first thoughts, and what I can say about it, because obviously, as you can see, it is an 8-bit game with very beautiful graphics. But it's not 2D, though, as you may have just seen previously when the whole world was rotating. Because the backstory is that... This little guy here is called Gomez, and everybody in Gomez's world thinks the world is purely 2D. There is uh, no 3D whatsoever, and any kind of 3D is heresy, and you will and blasphemy, and you will die if you think 3D is true. So everybody doesn't want to accept that 3D is real, but then something magical happens, and Gomez gets a magic fez, which allows him to rotate the 2D world, in all four dimensions to solve puzzles. As you can see by this lighthouse, there is a qubit, which I'll get into the collectibles in a second. There is a qubit on top of this lighthouse, and you have to rotate your jumps to get to the to the qubit. So, oh, excuse me. So, for, for example, you would be, oh, come on. I also have to try and time this to the video, obviously. Well, you would think, okay, so I can get on here. Now, what what can I make? What jump can I reach from from here? See how that tree came closer to you when you rotated it? So it is a very puzzle-heavy game. It all revolves around solving puzzles where the clues can sometimes be in the open, such as it's a simple rotation, or sometimes, when you get later on into the game, you start having to use bombs, which is something I saw in Northern Lions Let's Play. So you have to start using bombs and special devices like pivots to rotate the world and obviously blow up areas which are secretive and you can't really see very well except for a very small crack. There are also a lot of other things which I'll go through like the artifacts and so forth, but let's explain about the items first. Well, the artifact is a kind of item, but let's get into the main items. So, at the beginning of the game, there was this giant godlike cube which exploded. And you need to basically put the cube back together. And so, to put the cube back together, you have to collect those small little cubes which you just saw floating around, which are cubits. And you need 8 cubits to complete one whole cube. There are 32 cubes in the game, and once you can get all 32 cubes, I don't know what happens because Northern Lion has yet to finish the Let's Play. There are also blue cubes, which are anti-cubes, and he's only got one of those, so they haven't played any kind of significance as of yet, but when he got the anti-cube, black holes appeared, which are like the spikes in Mega Man, they're instant death, so maybe the anti-cubes are bad, but there's also 32 of them, which apparently you have to collect. There are also two other items in the game, which are treasure maps of yet... There, there are no purpose, Northern Lion is yet to work them out, and I am also yet to work them out, and I don't want the surprise spoiling for me, so please don't spoil it. 
And the final, the final item, um, of which there seems to be only four, is artifacts. And artifacts, again, have an unknown purpose up to this point. So I've talked enough about the actual game and what it entails. So I'll just quickly talk about this one puzzle here. So, as you can see, you just have to rotate to get all the way up. And then you would just rotate again and drop down. So you can make it from this angle. Or can you? Wait, Durdum, what are you doing? And as you can see, if you rotate wrongly, you drop. So let's actually, now I've talked about the gameplay and the puzzle solving, which involves rotations, bombs and pivots. Let's actually talk about the game itself, like the graphics and so forth. The graphics themselves are modelled off the old retro 8-bit games, and from people who own an Xbox Arcade or Xbox Live, they do say it is like playing. This is your map screen, I'll just also talk about this, which is access. All of the map screen is pretty much accessed from the very beginning, so you can see these are all the worlds. And as you go into each world, more of the map opens up. Gold rooms are rooms that are 100% complete. And silver rooms are rooms that have yet to be completed and there's still a secret in them. As you can see, these are your cubes. These are the whole cubes you've completed. So he's got two cubes, which means he's got 16 cubits to complete two cubes. This is your treasure maps. They're your artifacts. And that is for anti-cubes, but this Let's Player is yet to get any anti-cubes. So thank you for bringing the map up for me, and showing all of our lovely viewers the inventory. So going back to the actual graphics, yes, it's modelled off 8-bit games of the olden days, except it's not as 8-bitty, it's like all the lighting's been you know, smoothed over and the textures have been done up really nicely. So it it's eight bit, but it's high it's high quality eight bit. It's like 1080p in eight, 1080p in eight bit, if that's even possible. And as you can see, when you got the chest, it also has nice little references to the olden games, like the Legend of Zelda. When you open that chest, how when you open the chest, it spins round and you get the da -da -da -da, you got the thing little theme tune. So it's nice little references and. The people that have been Let's Playing this have said it is like playing an actual NES game, like how the controls are. As I say, I cannot comment myself, but that's nice to know. Going on to the music, the music is so soothing. I mean, unfortunately, I cannot put the music in there, but once again I say this is an Xbox Live Arcade game. I don't have an Xbox Live, but this was a game I really wanted to review. So I, I said I want to review it and it's like okay here's the footage just make sure you you credit me at the end which we're coming to the end. So the music is really relaxing. If you haven't listened to the music I recommend going and watching a Let's Play of Fez or going and listening to the soundtrack because it is nice calming relaxing music and it's the perfect it's the perfect music to mellow you out while you're doing these puzzles. It's a nice relaxing game that you can pick up and play for hours and not feel stressed out because even if a puzzle's giving you a bit of trouble and you're like ah I can't solve this puzzle the music's just so nice it's like ah oh, but I can't stay mad at this game ah <sighs> just relax solve the puzzle listen to the nice soothing music so my my final wrap up because obviously we only have about a minute left in this video, so I have to start wrapping it up. I also like how when you go through a door, you go into the background, so like this world, also this world, is completely interconnected. It's something like Jack and Daxter 1. Like there's no airlocks, there's no loading screen, well there is loading screens, but there's no, to an extent there's no air, there's no loading screens, to the extent of this world is all interlocked, so like you don't have to go from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 you can just walk through a door and it might be a shortcut to level 2 kind of like another good example is the hub world in Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Lair how like all the levels are within the main level itself so that's a really nice touch and I think this is a treasure map so you might be able to see a treasure map here so yes that indeed is a treasure map which hopefully will be brung up for me and that's what a treasure map looks like so as you can see, they they're kind of weird. I've not no one's deciphered those treasure maps yet. 
So this looks like, so all in all, this is a really interesting game. If you have Xbox Live, I recommend going and playing it. I know once it comes out on Steam, because there's no way. There is no way this will stay an Xbox exclusive game forever. That what, sooner or later this game will be brung to Steam. And the second this game does get brung to Steam, I will be let's playing it for you because I, I really want to play this game. I can't stress how much you know how sorry, I can't stress how good this game looks and how much I want to play it, reduced to the fact I don't have an Xbox, I can't. And this is one of the reasons why I'm thinking do I want to buy an Xbox 720 when I do my console rundown? So, on that note, we got a minute left, so I will just do some um, thank yous. So, first of all, I'd like to thank Durden77 for f providing me with this footage. So, I'll leave your link to Durden77's channel in the box below. Go check his channel out. Subscribe to him. He is very awesome. And I'll also leave the link to his version of Fez to so he can give you his thoughts. Also, if you actually want to see a lot more gameplay, because Durden's only done a 10 minute rundown at the moment, if you want to see more gameplay and all of the mechanics, like the bomb mechanics, the pivots and stuff, go check out Northern Lion's channel, because he's been a great Fez player at the moment, and he is um, doing rather well, and it's, an enjoy it's quite enjoyable to watch Northern Lion, because he's, he's made the game quite interesting, especially with his his lack of puzzle solving. So, that's all I can say. I'll see all you guys in my next video. And I'll rate this game five, 4 stars.